Saudi Arabian law dictates that women should wear the abaya, a loose-fitting garment with full-length robes, symbolizing modesty and a dedication to the Islamic faith. In some instances, it includes the covering of the face. But on Friday, a member of the highest religious body in the country told a local broadcaster that the outfit is not obligatory. More than 90% of pious women in the Muslim world do not wear abayas, so we should not force them to wear it. While the sheikh's comments don't necessarily signal a change in the law, he is the first senior religious figure to support a shift on the nation's stringent policies for women. Only government-appointed clerics are allowed to issue fatwas or Islamic legal opinions. Their interpretations form the basis of the kingdom's legal system. Saudi Arabia is preparing for a post-oil era. It wants to boost economic development by creating more job opportunities for women. Last year, a ban representing the nation's signature policy of female oppression was lifted when women were given permission to drive. In January, women were also given permission to watch football live in stadiums in certain cities. But they're still unable to do many things without their male guardian's permission, including getting married, applying for passports and travelling abroad.